Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube video channel. I'm excited to walk through you guys the step that the dentist would do for the deep cleaning. The first thing is you put the topical in, which I skipped that step. step. After I put a tip topical on the numbing area, and the dentist would numb you. There's two ways to numb this. Uh, this video is also important for the hygienist or the dental assistant who beginning to learn about dentistry. So in this particular video, I'm doing the deep cleaning. So I'm going to do a walk-in technique, uh, a local infiltration, uh, one uh, spot at a time at right at the apex, which is the bottom of the, the root uh, uh, area for each tooth. So I get infiltrate uh, using septic can so I can numb the patient uh, one tooth at a time uh, instead of doing the block, which is numbing uh, at the nerd uh, bundle block, uh, it will numb the whole entire jaw um, on the bottom, uh, like the IA technique, the inferior or villain nerd technique. Or um, I can do infiltration on each tube. I like to do this using septocaine, it's faster uh, and quicker um, <clears throat> onset. Septocaine, uh, if you use it, you can start the case uh, immediately after you numb. And so now that's what I'm doing. I'm using Septocan. Lidocan seems to be a little very uncomfortable when you do this to a patient. The patient will feel pain. With Septocan, uh, the, as long as you're gentle going in, they don't feel pain. So I like to do this for uh, say deep cleaning uh, or even some kind of uh, feeling. Uh, very easy, guys. Um, so that's the, just a technique. Uh, this is for again this video is i just want to show the patient when you need when the the, the reason that you need the deep cleaning is the the your calculus it build up in between too much and um, you start in to lose bone in between the teeth and if you wait for several years if your immune system is really weak you can probably end up having those two uh losing all the bone around and that's, those bones are called alveolar bone, the bone around the structure, yeah, structure of the tooth. Mean, right? And it will come out, your tooth will lose up and will come out one tooth at a time if you get into the point they call advanced periodontitis or, or severe periodontitis. So you see the calculus, I, did, I do the, I use the uh, water uh, pressure caviton, the water shooting and it break through, break those uh, uh, tartar calculus <coughs> that it, uh, stick been between your teeth for so many years and uh, these contain bacteria. So I'm talking both for dental assistant, dental hygienist uh, who begin to learn as well as patient here. Uh, so this video is just the general information. I'm not trying to teach everything, I'm trying to demonstrate for everybody to see that one of the reasons that you need a deep cleaning because you have on the x-ray as well as on the clinical evaluation, the dentist see you got too much tartar stuck in between your teeth. The reason is you have you don't floss your teeth, you don't brush your teeth uh, daily, and you neglect your, your teeth, you let the nature uh, take over um, your care, which is um, not a good idea. So right now it's just a free tip on the upper left side, but you can see that there is a lot of um, calculus, a lot of tartar coming out. The next couple of teeth, you don't see much calculus right there. I don't see it. But <clears throat> at you, when you when you do the cleaning and you see a lot of blood coming out, that's basically because of the uh, very small layer of calculus stuck down under the gum. You can see now, this is the molar there, that's called number 14 there. A lot of uh, calculus under the, the gum and it's it's white calculus. That means that these two, these um, patients have been let these, these um, food trap for quite um, some time. Uh, so that very interesting, as you can see on the front side, you got like a black uh, calculus and the back side, you got like a white calculus. So calculus come in different color depend on the food that you eat. <clears throat> so this is not good. You know, longer you wait on uh, not doing the deep cleaning, not having a dental hygienist care for you, you probably end up losing uh, those teeth uh, when you get um, a few year or decade years older. So I'm doing the lingual side, which is the back side of the tooth on the upper left right now. And that's just a quick uh, showing. Uh, right now is uh, starting the bottom tooth. <laughs> I'm cleaning on the bottom tooth. And you can see the same thing. Um, the plaque, the calculus on the front tooth, teeth look like black. 
uh, green, green, dark green. So <clears throat> come with different color based on what you eat and how long you left it there. Uh, these uh, calculus contain a lot of bacteria. Uh, the bacteria that love to live under the gum are the bacteria they call um, <clears throat> they call the uh, uh, oxygenated heat bacteria. Basically, it love to live in an unoxygenated environment. So these bacteria are the one that very dangerous. They can destroy your bone and. Uh, in the long run, destroyed our bone is not a, is this one problem of the living the calculus. The other problem would be causing a heart problem, cardiovascular disease, because infection of your gum can circulate around, uh, carry the bacteria to your heart, to your brain, to your kidney, to your lung, uh, and any other organ of your system. And if your organ system is vulnerable for um, bacteria grow. Uh, then you can have a problem. After we do deep cleaning, we show the patient, you can see the C-shaped technique going all the way down, uh, half of the, the, the tube. Each time, chain the, the floss aside, rinse it out if you want, and floss all the way, half of those teeth, guys. Check, you can see that. All the way, half of the teeth on each time you floss and under the gum. This is how you get rid of the bleeding. And uh, I, the patient was numb, so I were able to go a little bit deeper. But uh, just to let you know, after you have a deep cleaning, you do this for the first three days. The next four days, I bet you your gum going to be a lot better. It's going to heal up, going to be less sensitivity, uh, less discomfort. But your gum here is starting to heal firm after a month. But uh, at the beginning, when you have a deep cleaning, your gum is still not healthy because it's, um, we just break out the calculus. So the gum is having the, a layer of inflammation there. It needs time to heal up. Thank you for watching for a quick introduction of deep cleaning. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you like the video, if you think the video is having some impact for your life, like it and subscribe it and uh, make some comment. I appreciate your turn on, turning on my <clears throat> channel and continue follow me through this journey of life of a dentist in general dentistry for um, daily uh, activity. Love you guys. Take care. Have a great day.